Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Paige. Um, today is going to be a video essentially for any of you who are going into year 12. You could even do this for year 10 or year 11 if you wanted to, I would recommend it for year 11. Um, or A levels or anything like that. And essentially it's about how to, I know it sounds like a very basic thing, but how to essentially organise your binders. Now when I was going into year 12, even year 11, this was something me and my best friend um, got quite excited about because we are a little bit of like organisation nuts. Um, and I know that there are more of you out there and I thought I would kind of share the best way I think to kind of store all your like hard copies of stuff um, and I'll do more videos in the future uh, related to Google Drive and how to best optimize that and folders online and stuff like that but this is more so for like physical how you're going to be using binders essentially And what's really great about this particular system that I personally love, that I've got and I've developed over the past two years, is that you can link it to everything. So it can be linked to your email, it can be linked to your Google Calendar, to your Google Drive, all this kind of stuff. And especially when we use colour, um, it's something I, I would happily sit there and organise people's stuff. I think that categories and... Um, having like everything in its particular place can make things so much less stressful in the future when you have to find stuff and you have to come back to study and it just makes life so much easier in my opinion and if you can kind of keep everything organized and in its place and keep track of everything then you've already done so much of the work in my personal opinion. Okay so the first kind of thing which you're going to need uh, when you're going into year 12 is like an everyday big binder. So I would recommend using uh, ones that have like the lever arches. I think that they're the most effective and that they keep everything really nice. So essentially what you want to have is your main white binder. For me personally it's white, it can be any colour, but essentially it's going to be your big binder that you're going to carry around with you that has all your kind of everyday uh, work I suppose in it. I'm just going to use this particular binder as an example, but the one that you'd be using for your like everyday work would be a lot bigger. I'm thinking like at least this wide I reckon. Um, but essentially the first thing that I think is so important, and I did discuss this in my previous videos, is connecting with your why. So in all of my uh, like main big binders that I went through over the past two years, I always had some sort of motivation statement on the front. So in year 12 that turned into kind of a, like a, mess a written message which I wrote for myself and would kind of read at the beginning of every day as a reconnection back to why I'm trying to work hard and why I'm trying to be productive but it could be as simple as a few like collage pictures or some goals that you have in the future or you could write you could if you for example wanted to build your dream home um, you could put collages of pictures of what you want your future to look like essentially and like I've said before it's not the marks that's going to get you potentially that life, it's the attitude you develop in getting those marks that will help you get that life, if that makes sense. And then if you opened up, again, this is just a random binder I've pulled from um, my cupboard, so obviously it's not done how I would normally like. Um, on the inside, you'd want to be putting your, your school timetable just for like easy access. Um, I would also have like another plastic sleeve related to like notes or like school stuff. So anything personal that isn't related to the academic side of school could also go in there. Then essentially what happens is you will move into kind of your subject blocks in your everyday uh, binder. If we're talking about business studies, you would have a title page, so it would be like business studies. And then on the back side of that title page, I would normally uh, be putting that in a plastic sleeve with the syllabus. Because with most subjects, except for like English and maths. With most subjects, you are really using the syllabus so much to guide kind of your study and your direction and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I would be putting on the back of the title page. Then you'd kind of have all your paper. So um, you can use plain paper, which I found incredibly helpful, particularly in maths. So give that a try if you want to. Um, you can just use like lined refill paper. Um, but this is essentially where you're going to take class notes. So when you're in class, it doesn't form your study notes. 
again, I'll talk about this a little bit more in the future. Um, but it's essentially just your workbook in your binder. So you've got your title page, your syllabus, your notes. Then you're going to have a plastic sleeve called class resources. And this is essentially sheets which get handed out, um, kind of readings that you might have to do. Anything that is a handout by your teacher would go in that class resources section. Um, ideally, I'd be trying to um, kind of hole punch and put it in as I go for reasons which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but yeah, any kind of leaflets or anything related to that particular topic goes in there. And when you are writing in your binder, it's really important that once you're finished with a particular module or a topic, that it comes out. And I'll talk about storing that in a second. And then, so that's that sleeve. And then the next sleeve that you're gonna have is an assessment sleeve. Um, essentially, you'll be putting any work in here which is related to your assessment task you might want to put a results tracker in there. I personally liked to do that online. Um, I'll show you how I created my results tracker in a future video. Um, but you could do that handwritten on like a little table and print that out so you have easy access to it. And that's essentially what each subject would look like and you just duplicate that for each subject. These are just the dividers I would use for my subject in the like everyday binder. You can just get them from Officeworks or you can order them online or, um, but I think, Quick recommendation, always get kind of plasticky ones um, because the cardboard ones break. Once you're finished with that topic that you've been writing in, you're going to want to take all those resources out and collate them. And what do you do once that happens? So that's your everyday binder, how I would normally be structuring that. But what you will also have at home is what I call subject binders. Um, these are more related to storage and they're going to help you so much. Uh, when you come to study in the future. And another really important thing to remember when you're doing all of this is optimizing color. So for me, I color coded all of my subjects that then coincided with the color that they were on my Google Calendar, the color that they were in my email, like label, um, the color that I used in headings in those notes. So I essentially categorized all my subjects into colors. So business studies for me was always green. I would be using this particular divider and then having the set behind that, if that makes sense, within my um, everyday binder. And then what happens is you want to coincide those colors. <laughs> Obviously you don't have to be this crazy about it, but I just feel like the system makes so much more sense. And if it's a little bit aesthetic, you're going to want to come back and look at it essentially. So then I would take, this is going to be the divider with all my everyday stuff in it that's in that big one that I use. And you're going to want to get a little subject binder like this, which is the same colour, just to, I think, keep things matching. It keeps things organised. It makes life easy. And as you can see, I've accented anything related to business as being green on the top as well. So just establish a colour system. It will really help you. And it looks pretty. Okay, so essentially what you want to do then is, let's say that I just finished, I'm going to talk about operations, which is a topic in business studies. Let's say I just finished going through operations, I've written all my class notes on it, I might have written some online, whatever. Um, I've got loads of class handouts, the assessment task I did is in my everyday binder and I want to store that because we're moving on to the next topic. Essentially you want to get one of these little plastic document wallets. Um, they're expandable so they can hold quite a bit and you're going to take out essentially all of this work that you did in your everyday binder and you're going to put it in here. So if we open this up, I'll show you what I mean. At the back I've essentially got any class resources that were handed out, any practice questions related to operations, um, my written notes, my quizlets, anything which relates to operations is within this little document wallet and that includes anything which I wrote in that everyday binder and you're going to collate all of that and put it into one of these little document wallet things and over the space of a year you'll accumulate one for each topic so we've got like finance we've got HR and we've got marketing as well and then what happens is you're going to put all those little wallets inside your subject binder at home and this is where you're going to be keeping your notes essentially. When I study I will always study in topics. What's really great about this then is this just becomes all that you need for that particular topic. They're very easy to transport around 
Um, so if you're going to like a library or you're going to school or whatever and you need like a specific topic set, you just take the document wallet and it's just all there very nicely and it keeps everything really neat. So that's essentially how I organise my binders. Um, I know this isn't quite a random video, but I do know that I would have loved to have a resource like this at the beginning of year 11 or year 12. I do think that organisation is the base layer for um, a lot of success in your senior years because when you're organised, you feel less overwhelmed because everything has its place. It's very systematic and it becomes very easy to actually study from, if that makes sense. So yeah, I would say my biggest tips when it comes to that is stay on top of filing and putting those topics away. Try and be as minimalistic as possible when it comes to taking notes or collating resources um, and actually really asking yourself, is this something that I'm going to need? And my next thing is make sure that you optimize color and you categorize using color because I feel like, at least in my head, and I know for a lot of other people, color can just um, create a little bit of calm in the chaos, which I think is, is quite important. Do take any tips. If you have any questions for me, um, do leave them below. I'm going to leave a, if I can, a little like attachment file um, below, which kind of, again, explains how it would be setting up your everyday binder and your subject binders at home. So thank you for watching, do subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this type of video and I will see you for my next video on Friday, I think. Bye!